His name is Don Bishop, and he is an idea man. For the last 10 years, Bishop, whose base of operations is the town of Eganville, has been working on environmentally sustainable solutions to global problems. He has had the opportunity to travel the world for both work and pleasure, and now he has taken his experience and directed it at a problem closer to home. I've been in the Ottawa Valley now for more than 40 years, uh, based in, in Eganville and in the area. Uh, my background um, is more in motive power and business. And uh, when we got into uh, looking at uh, uh, biosolids and septage and the environmental sector, what, we, uh, st what I started to see was that there was a lot of good information out there, but people weren't really pulling it together. Once the new nutrient, an nutrient Management Act came in, uh, we had to come up with a solution to do with both septage and biosolids, which were no longer allowed to be applied to the land in the winter months, and there's new legislation coming up for the summer months. I have been doing some work with the geotube technology in the United States and the aquaculture or fish farming industry and we developed a solution there so no waste was going into the environment. So in the case here, uh, the mayor of uh, North Algona Township uh, and the mayor of uh, Buncher Valley Township, uh, I've sat down and met with them, uh, Harold worked with Sigmenta and uh, they liked the idea a lot and a decision was made by Buncher Valley to build this plant. The plant was uh, built during last winter and the challenge with that was that we had so much snow it really slowed construction down, but it came online in April. And this whole teamwork attitude which had started right here in Ranford County brought it together and we've developed this solution that Eganville is the first community in North America that no longer produces a waste. Most communities in the province are simply trying to find ways of disposing of their waste. But the Eganville plant has turned a smelly situation into a cash-generating solution. But how has Bishop Aquatic Technologies achieved this? The answer lies in a piece of technology known as a geotube. A lot of people don't understand when they push that button on the back of their toilet what happens. And that material will either go to a septic tank or it'll go to a wastewater treatment plant. And by the time it, it gets to theirs, it's all broken down and then they add an activated sludge to it in a wastewater treatment plant and that sludge has the good bacteria attached to it. Well, at the end result of the bacteria having their fight, there's always some sludge left over. So what we do is we take that sludge, we bring it into, uh, we put it into a tank outside of this building that we're in here and this is the pump room polymer building. That then is pumped into the entire thing into a geotube. And you've got to think of a geotube as like a big sock. And what it will do is allow the water out, but it doesn't allow water back in and it allows air to pass through. So once we go in, fill it up, and then overnight it will drain all the liquid out. And then you fill it up again and you do this multiple times till it's absolutely full. Then you just let it sit and let the oxygen start to work and the bacteria do the job. We've been able to take the pathogens out, get rid of the odor. Now those solids that are left over, which are still in many places considered at waste, we found three different things to use them for as a nutrient. So all of a sudden, a community like Eganville that was paying to get rid of its waste has now turned that waste into a revenue stream, which will increase over the future years. So is this the future of septage management? Will we soon see geotubes in all our communities? Will human waste become a money-generating opportunity? Only time will tell. Jeremy Charbonneau, TV Kojiko News.